Hello fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the gathering stitch. Uh, the gathers are all about giving a particular part of the garment that you're making in fullness and shape. So let's go ahead and get that done for you. Okay, this is a project that I'm working on at the moment and I'll just show you what the process is for uh, doing a gathering stitch. Okay, there's two rows of stitch in there. Okay, that is what you need to do in order to get the fullness that I was talking about earlier. So that's what you do for the first stage. And once you've done that, what happens is that you pull these threads, these tails here, until it looks like this. So we've got it there. And that's what it looks like. So that is the actual gathering. And as you can see, it's given that fullness okay so that's the bust area so I've given the fullness to the bust area and I'll just quickly show you how I've done this on the sleeve as well so there you have two rows so it's going to be gathered on the head of the sleeve and also gathered at the lower part of the sleeve as well so once I pull those threads together it looks like this so now I have fullness in the sleeve by gathering it. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to actually do the gathering stitch. Okay. Okay, I've got a little sample here for you. Um, two rows of stitching that I've told you about. And then what you need to do then is actually pull. There we go. Pull the uh, threads that are underneath and the threads that are underneath are the threads that are the bo bobbin threads okay so it's important that you get that right because they're the ones that are a lot more slacker so you just pull right so and you can see the folds starting to create all the gathers are starting to create and then you do the same on the opposite side as well so just pull until you get until you get the gathers that you're happy with so that's what happens and now you can see it's now got shape there hasn't it and that is going to be the next stage. So what happens in order for you to actually get the gathers and keep them in place and you're happy with it, you need to do a row of stitching in between both of the larger stitches there. So I'm just going to do that for you on the sewing machine so you get a better idea of how the technique is actually done. Okay. Okay, before I actually do the uh, stitching for you, I just want to let you know um, the position that your machine should be in. You have to make sure that your stitch length is on its highest stitch possible and your thread tension it needs to be between 1 and 2. I've actually got mine about 1.5. Okay now I'm actually going to show you how to do the stitch for you. Right I've done the first row I'm now going to do the second one. I'm going to do this quite big just for this demonstration so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Make sure it starts more or less in the same position you started the first one. Do not back tack. Right, keep at the same distance. I mean, my would probably about 1.5, probably two centimeters, right? I think that's about the same, yep. Okay, do not back tack, remember? Pull your work out and cut your threads. So now I've got my two rows of stitching, okay, and now the gathering needs to happen. And what you're going to do is to make sure that you actually pull the threads underneath because that's the bobbing threads and they're the threads that are the slackest. Okay, so just bring that forward, get hold of those two tails there, and pull. Okay, so you can see it's all starting to gather now and then it's all a case of making sure that you get the right fullness that you want okay and I'll turn your work the other way and get the other tails remember not, not the top ones okay so you want to get the ones underneath those two there and then do the same and just draw the tails like that so you get fullness like that Okay, can be a bit fidgety, 
okay? Right? And then that is what you need to, uh, I don't know the best way to express, trap them. Those folds there, those are your gathers. So now you need to make sure that your stitch length is back to the required length that you do in your machine. So I'm doing that now. Get mine to 2.5 there. And also make sure your thread tension goes back, otherwise your work will not um, sew properly. So I'm going to get that back to where I usually have it. I've done that now. Okay, now I'm ready to do my normal stitch in between those two rows. Okay, so I'm happy with what I've got there and just keep you kind of work in that position. Put your needle, your, your foot down, needle down into your work. Okay, and then hold it. Now this is when you need to back tack your work. And then stitch across, just gently go through. Keep the, the uh, your line stitching as straight as possible. Right, okay. Good enough. I work away. And curl that away. There we go. See, there. Right, and now I'm going to remove these two threads. It's just a case of it should be quite easy to do. See, just remove them. Remember, it always has to be the threads that are underneath. If you start pulling from that, it will lock your stitch and then you have difficulty pulling it out. And then that's when you've got to go to your good old stitch and pick. Okay, pull that one out. And then the top ones can just easily peel away. Peel that one away. Easy peel away. And then you're just left with your middle stitch. There we go. And there's your gathering. There's your gathering stitch there. Holding all that fullness for you. Okay, hope that's been informative and I'll see you in my next video.